Hello, this is the Coachman Amari 520 for four birth caravan uh, registered in 2005. Um, the reason I'm making this video is I can show you all about this caravan. Um, I'm going to it's got a motor mover fitter fitted, I'm going to show you how to use that. Uh, how to use all the appliances inside um, and by the time we finish this video you'll know everything about this caravan um, and it'll, it'll help you to decide whether this caravan's right for you. It's coming with all the accessories um, so there's nothing you'll need to buy to operate this caravan. Under this front cover is uh, a new gas bottle I fitted this yesterday. Um, gas bottle that's full, 15 kilogram bottle and a regulator. There's a, a wheel nut spanner there. It's got the Elko hitch lock and um, tows very well. Uh, the Elko hitch lock um, is designed to stop the sway in the car when the, between the car and the caravan when you're towing. Like I say, it's got all the accessories. That's the leg winder for the corner steadies. It's got the aqua roll water butt and whale pump and the the handle for for the water butt. Motor mover and alloy wheels. I'll demonstrate this motor mover later. Got the wastewater container and waste pipes and all these waste pipes do is just slot into these two fittings on here into there look like that that takes your waste water away you'll also have the caravan step and uh, the 240 volt hookup lead so all the accessories are there the caravan's in very reasonable condition for 2005 very level across the front one or two little dings uh, down this side. All the external lockers, um, they all lock like they should. Behind this locker is the leisure battery and hookup point for the 240 volt. So you have leisure battery, 240 hookup and then behind here is where the isolator key goes in for the motor mover. Like I say, I'm going to demonstrate that to you after. This is the vent for the hot water heater. Now the hot water heater works on gas and on electric and when you're operating it you need to remove this cover so that, so that it can vent properly and breathe. There's a little ding here. All in all it's very very good condition. TV air along the roof. This is the filler cap for the toilet inside. And what you do with this, you pour your pink fluid in here, then fill it up with, uh, with clear water, and that's for your toilet flush. That holds about 15 litres. Below it is the locker for the Thetford cassette. And what this cassette does, it catches the waste from the toilet inside and to empty this cassette, you lift this yellow lever up, pull the whole thing forward. Now all this, this cassette comes all the way out and this is the drain and the filler for it. So you take it to an appropriate drain when it's full, screw this cap off, tip it down an appropriate drain, put a bit of clear water in, give it a swill, give it a shake, tip it back down the drain Put, some, put about two litres of fresh water in it and the blue toilet flush fluid and that's all ready to go again. It's very good across the back. There's just a very little crack here. But apart from that, it's, it's all good. All the external lights work as they should. Brake lights, indicators, etc.
Caravan's very good down this side. There's a little ding here. Oh, and a little one there. Overall, it's in very reasonable condition. The light above the door works and it's a stable door. So what that means is you can have the bottom half closed and the top half open to let air in. Down under here is the spare wheel hanger. See that there? The spare wheel. And it's on the galvanised lightweight chassis. It tows very well. I know the caravan brakes work okay, as does the handbrake. Now the weights of this caravan, um, unladen, it weighs 1,235 kilograms and laden it weighs 1,455 kilograms. And I'll talk about the dimensions shortly. And the weighted data caravan, these numbers on the windows, yep, it's picking it up. The, these numbers on the windows here, this is known as a CRIS number, but it's also the chassis number. And to find out the date of a caravan, if you count the tenth digit in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, that's brought us to a number five, and that says that the, car that the caravan was made in 2005. There's all the manuals in the caravan uh, for the appliances, etc., and the motor mover, and one thing and another, and the National Council certificates. Uh, another little ding there. But I'm going to explain about all the appliances and how they work and another little ding there in a bit and then there's a bit up here which is uh, caused by awning poles uh, a bit there and here this locker here, this is just a storage locker it's going to be fun to bring one in just a storage locker there and this is underneath the front settee in the van and to this side there's a 240 volt plug outlet for if you want to run equipment outside like this and to the left hand side of this locker there's a, bar there's a gas point for um, external barbecue so that's the outside uh, what I'll do next, I'll just explain about how long it is and how wide etc and then I'll operate the motor mover and you can see that it's working and I'll explain how to use it. So the caravan is from the back to the front there is 20 feet and from the back to the front of the towing frame it's 21, 23 feet 3 inch it's um, 7 foot wide and from the floor to the top of the aerial from the ground to the top of the aerial it's approximately 8.5 feet so how to operate the motor mover First of all, you need to take the isolator. Well, first of all, actually, make sure you've got the handbrake on and that you've wound up all your corner steadies, the, the caravan, the four caravan legs. And you take the isolator key and this fits into this slot here. And it's going to be a bit awkward with one hand, but here we go. lines up with the slot and you turn it all the way to the right like this so that's now turned the the uh, control box on that's underneath the settee in the caravan 
the remote, sorry, first of all. So then what you need to do next is wind the uh, the wheels onto the tyre. Now I've done the other side, but I'll show you how to do it on this side. So you take your caravan leg winder for the corner steadies, put it on here and wind that wheel towards the tyre. See it going in here. Tie it up against the tyre so that it's engaged the tyre like this. And like I say, I've done the other side. Now this remote, to turn this remote on, you press this button twice and this red light comes on. To turn this motor to turn this remote off, click it once, red light goes off. So on for two. This button here will send the caravan forward. This button here will send it in reverse. These two slew the caravan, the front of the caravan, right and left. And these two slew the caravan at the rear, like right to left. And if you hold that button and that button at the same time, it'll turn the caravan around on its axis, on, on its axis to, and, uh, to clockwise. And if you hold that one and that one down at the same time, it'll turn it on its axis anti-clockwise. So here we go. So forward, uh, handbrake off. Forward. Backwards. Slew the to the slew the front of the caravan. And use the rear ones. And as I say, if you hold those two together or those two together, it'll spin it round on its axis, but I haven't got enough room to do that here. But that shows you that um, the remote works and the, the actual caravan mover itself works. So I hope that's clear. Back we go. And I just want that back end round a tad. Wrong way. So very easy to operate. Um, the way to do it is to have a play with it and uh, get the feel for it. I then turn the remote off, one click, red light's gone off, and then hammer it back on. Wind all your, wind your four leg corner steadies down, turn the isolator switch off. I should really have taken that 240 hook up off. Um, so that's now that's now got the power disconnected to the control unit in the caravan. And then of course wind both your motors back away from the wheel on both sides. That's the motor mover, so now we'll take a look inside. So we'll take a look inside the caravan and remember I said it's the uh, stable door, uh, light above, so stable door, what you can do with this door is turn that lever down, shut the bottom section and have the top section open like this, and as you come into the caravan Going back to the door, there's a, a full length fly net that goes across the door. It just simply slides across like this and hooks onto there. Like that. So that's a, have the door open, fly net across. And above the door is the main control panel. This is the master switch for turning the electrics on inside the van. 
this one is the pump for the water this is the override switch for all the, for the all the 12 volt lights in the caravan although you can turn the lights off independently this is for the outside light the awning light this one here checks the status of the battery by just by pushing the button in the bottom like that clock to the left which works two more light switches here uh, this top one when you click it on it turns that spotlight on and this bottom one here turns on turns the spotlight on in the shower and above the sink and what we'll do I'll start in the in the bathroom got a mirror to the side there so you have your bathroom door so you come into the bathroom now there's two spotlights under here and there's one in the shower above here and remember I said you turn this light switch on like that and that's now turned the spotlights on above the sink like that and the one in the shower good shower uh, with a, a skylight above and a fly net with my hang on shower head which is detachable and tap so it's a, it's a, a swivel tap so out for hot water like that so I get a wet hand across that way and up cold water uh, it has a, a plug here for in the shower if you want a bit of water in the bottom little shelf and what have you and it's it's uh, all nicely lined like that and it's got a good shower base To the side of this shower is a, a cupboard and in here is where the freestanding table is it slides out um, and then you, you just put the legs down and you've got a freestanding table either for in the front down here or those are the table on top of this unit which I'll show you or for outside or in an awning to the side of that is two drawers below with spacious drawers and above it a wardrobe like this it has a catch here for when you're moving just put that catch down then it doesn't rattle open and in here you have a base now these bases lift up and you can get access to underneath two shelves and a clothes rack and this this ladder here is for the bunks in the dinette which I'll show you after back window that's got the fly nets now all the fly nets in the van work okay and the window stairs in at every window are okay and it's on blackout blinds as well like this all the blackout blinds work in the van then you have uh, a vanity unit here so you've got a little shelf up there a cupboard like this mirrors and sink and below the sink you have a concertina door that opens like this it folds back on itself and you have two shelves in there same again it's a swivel tap so it's just to the left and up for hot down and across for cold and there's two ways to get hot water in this van which I'll show you you can get your hot water by using the gas or you can get the hot water by using the 240 volt hookup but I'll explain all that to you as we go along so inside of the sink you've got the toilet and this is a swivel toilet like this and to this side you have a little lever and in here you have a gate and that and that lever when you move that lever it opens that gate 
So when you're using the toilet, open the lever like this. It opens the gate, do what you're doing, and then it flushes away by this plunger here. So you just up and down like this, and that's flushing the uh, pink fluid as I showed you earlier. When you've flushed, close this gate up, pump that handle again to just get a little bit of uh, water in there, and what that does, the gate down here, it has a rubber seal, and if you just keep a bit of uh, water on it, it, it helps to prevent the rubber seal going brittle and leaking into the cassette area that I showed you on the outside. And then you have a, a towel uh, a towel holder and also um, a toilet roll holder and a place for two brushes and cups. Uh, and the floor in here is good and it's all dry. So out of the bathroom and to this side you have the cooker cupboards, fridge, sink above and above this all this unit you've got two cupboards up here for plates etc now the cooker has a glass lid so up with the glass lid turn these splashback sides back and it's an electronic igniter. I'm just going to close the door because the neighbours have turned up, they'll get quite noisy. Uh, cooker, four gas rings, electronic igniter. So uh, turn the gas on and hold it in, click the igniter, let's put that one on. This is where I need two hands. So, that camera there. That on an igniter again, that's lit that one. Same with this one. And this one. The hub's all good, the hub's in very good condition, nice and clean. I'll turn them off. Then you have below the hub, you have the grill and grill pan. And when you're using the grill, um, keep this door open. So this is just control for the grill and the igniter. Uh, can you see if that's lit? It's lit, but I can't get a very good angle on it. But it works okay. And then below the, the grill, got the oven. Leave door open when grilling. I'll show you that uh, oven. I'll just rest that there. There you've got the oven, and it's nice and clean in the oven as well. Lovely glass door on it. Below the oven there's a little storage compartment like this. It's good for pots and pans and things. And then next to the oven we've got and uh, below the sink a drawer here and a cupboard below and in here are all uh, your gas taps with the appliances and they're all turned on with a shelf above. That brings you to the fridge. <clears throat> now in transit, when you're moving, there's a little a little uh, bend there and it just fits in there and what that does, although it locks, sometimes these will rattle free and your door and your door will open up. So this is just like a safety little catch. And I've got this lit on gas at the moment. So just flick it to that side, open the door. Above for eggs and things, shelf for milk, pop, and then like a little grocery cupboard below. Two racks inside, and a freezer box. And this work, this fridge works great. The freezer box is fantastic on the gas and on the 240 volt hookup. 
I wish I could show you cold, but I can't. Um, so this is lit on the gas. Okay, let you see the pilot light in there. That's lit on the gas. And to light this on the gas, all you do, I'll switch it all back off and I'll show you. So, that, so that's in the off position at the top. Pilot light gone out. So you turn this round to the round to the bottom. One, two, three. Now that's on the gas, and you hold the temperature control in, push it in, and that lets the gas run through to the pilot, and press the igniter, and that's lift it back on the gas. There you go inside there. So this this uh, fridge works on the gas, and on the two two thirty volt hookup. Never used it on the twelve volt. Don't even know if it does. Uh, it may do, it may not do, I don't know. Close your fridge, lock it, then just put your little retainer back in there. Then we come to the sink. The sink has a glass lid. Same again, tap, uh, plug. Taps are the same, swivel, swivel taps. This way and up for hot water. Down and across for cold. And it has a fly net at the window and a blackout blind with a light above. To the right of that, remember that spotlight turns on with that top switch just around that corner. Uh, two shelves and a work surface. Then across from the fridge is the fire and there's two ways you can get warmth into this van so at the minute this is turned on on the gas and i'll try and find the the light the pilot light there in there so that's lit on the gas and it has a control on the top here so this is lit on the gas so all you do is this will be in the off position turn it push it down turn it round and press this igniter two or three times checking checking there for your um that it's lit, you see it's lit there. And then this control at this side, what this does, it operates an electric fan behind the fire. And also in that fan, there's elements. And so this is on gas. If you turn that that way, push that to that side, you'll hear that fan. What that fan is now doing, it's blowing warm air through those two vents there and one in the bathroom and it's very very efficient like central eating so I put it into that left hand side position there what this dial here is for this controls the speed of the fan listen okay now I'll flick this to this side so that's on so the fan is on continuous if you flick it to this side automatic it regulates the temperature in the van depending where you've got this set to so if it's on for example automatic it'll come on and off on and off on and off and trying to keep the temperature quite ambient so that's the gas fire on gas now what I'm going to do I'm just going to turn that off turn the gas off so that gas fire is off now now the, these controls can also be used in conjunction with the electrical system so just to the left hand side of the gas fire is two switches I'll explain about that one in a minute but what you have down here um, this control here has also got a thermostat on it and it's 500 watts 1000 watts or 2000 watts and what this does it turns the electrical side of the fire on so if I put it up to say 2000 watts, a little green light will come on. Now what that's doing is, it's heating the elements up behind the fire. You go back up here. Turn that back on this way, and it's put that fan back on. So what that's actually doing now, that's blowing hot air around the van via the 240 volt hookup. And it's the same principle, fan speed, automatic or on continuous. Now I'm going to turn all that off because it's really, really warm in here. Turn that back off. 
Now this control above, there's two ways to get hot water in this van and this is the gas control for the hot water and this is the 240 volt hookup control for the water. So at the minute I've got this turned on on the gas. So if you turn it to the left that turns it off on the gas. Make sure, you remember I told you about this cover that was outside on the flue, make sure you take it off come back inside your van make sure your gas is turned on and just turn that down one and that green light comes on you'll hear it click and then it'll woof and, and ignite the uh, gas now this stays green if for any reason it trips off and goes red it either means your gas bottle's empty remember the gas taps I showed you in that cupboard it, that's turned off or you haven't taken this cover off okay so that's hot water on gas now turn that back off and to get hot water on the 240 volt hookup all you simply do is flick that rocker switch down it lights up and that's now heating the hot water on the 230 volt hookup so that's your two ways to get hot water and your two ways to get uh, warm heat above the fire you've a cupboard here with a surface to stand a TV on and at some point somebody's dropped something on this and it's, it's been filled in with a bit of, of wood filler but it's not very big now I've got a TV in and now this, this TV is not coming with this van and I want to demonstrate to you that the TV aerial works so if you're looking here the TV aerial is turned on so the light's green at the top it's plugged in at the back on the 12 volt switch and it's and the TV aerial is this one straight into the back of the TV and there's also a 230 volt plug socket there that works and this, this lid actually lifts up so TV There we go, that's just to show you that the TV uh, aerial works. And depending where you are, it'll determine how many channels you can get, obviously. And that's just to show you that everything's working there, but the TV and this remote isn't coming with the caravan. Above the TV stand, you've got a glass drinks cupboard, glass doors, with a light above. Like this a shelf above there and you've got various racks for holding various things loads of storage space in this van you've got the dinette here now this makes into double beds which which I'll set up later when I make up the front bed with three cupboards above I'm gonna shut that door Three cupboards above, all dry inside. Sorry, four cupboards above, I can't count. So that brings you into the front area. These settees can either be used as single settees or you can pull this out. This pulls all the way back. This pulls all the way back to here to make a double bed. And like I say, I'll set that up after and show you. Um, storage underneath. Down here is the size for the bunk which I'll set up after. The, in, the upholstery is in re very reasonable condition. Cupboard below.
230 volt uh, plug socket that works. Two drawers. Catches at the side, you push these down and it allows this table to slide out and fall back like this. So you have a table there. Catches back up. And also, you can make this, like I say, you can make this area into a double bed. But this does actually lift out and you can make it into a bigger double bed. And I'll just show you, I'll just take this bottom drawer out. Because in the rear, you have these catches. Okay. There's two across the front and there's three across the back. One, two, three. So you, un so you unfasten them and then what you can do, you can lift this unit out like I said and make it into a bigger double bed. I'm not going to show you that, I'm going to show you how to make up the double bed. Uh, so we've got drinks cabinet there, so in this cupboard here is a radio CD player. Don't wait, friendly but not over friendly. Really. Afternoon play. <laughs> and this front is detachable and here's the, the box to put it in. Shelf above and a CD rack to that side. Another cupboard to the side of it. Nice big spacious cupboard. Speakers for the radio. These are the two 40 volt uh, lights and these switch on, on and off at the side here. Across the front, two cupboards across the front, all the curtains are good. I like love the look in these cupboards so you can see everything's going on. Two more cupboards to this side above this front settee. Loads of cupboard space, loads of storage space. And then you've got all the instruction manuals for the caravan uh, accessories, you know, the fridge, cooker, etc. Um, the owner's manual, that's full of information. All this is about the TV aerial. Truma Rapid Ultra Star, Ultra, ultra Heat, uh, information on the radio, instructions for the fire, a bit more about the radio coaxial. This is about the motor mover, the Tetra cassette toilet, which I showed you, and this is the National Caravan Council certificate. Uh, remote and isolator switch, two sets of keys. Uh, then on the roof, I've got that light turned on, got that one on. Then on the roof, you've got this big massive hikey skylight. Push the button in, turn that. Push the button in, turn that one. Pull this handle down, shove it up. So you can have it fully open like this, lets in loads of fresh air, or you can Pull this handle down and rest it on, on there, like this, just to have it venting. And this has uh, a fly net across it, a fly net across and also a blind. So they've clipped together, so you can have the blind across like this, your privacy. Or just shove it all back across the side. And you've got the flat. Oops. You've got the fly net, or you can have them just independent of each other. Um, and then you have an electric uh, vent. This is above the cooker. Now what this enables you to do, this switch here, you turn this switch and the lid above raises up like this. See it like coming up like that. So you raise that. 
on and off control and so it'll spin this way or that way and it's got three speeds it's good for pulling air out of the caravan when you're cooking now that's on speed one speed two speed three and like I say you can reverse it and have it blowing air in as well like that and of course three speeds on that remember to close it down when you finish using it or you get rained on if it rains and this also has a blackout blind above it like that so I think I've pretty much covered everything there right so what I'll do next is I'll make this bed up and make these bunks up and these bunks have a, have a curtain here that comes around on this rail to make this area private from everything else and it has a light above so you've got light in this area as well when the curtain's round so I'll get on with the beds so these are the bunks made up and all I've done is just rearrange the cushions and pulled out the um, <coughs> the base like that that's your front double bed and so you can make it bigger by removing that and then here we have the bunk beds two bunk beds and that's the ladder that was in the cupboard and that side and that side were stored under that settee and these, this, mat, this mattress two piece mattress like this these were stored under these seats and same again just rearrange the cushions and the base for this bed is uh, another pull out base like that so when you come to the curtain it's on a fasten I'd have been better off to oven fasten this before I put the bunk up and there we go it's just a press stud, bring the curtain out and then the curtain just pulls along on this rail around this corner like this um, this hook there can go onto that ring there pull it across like this and what this has done now in effect has made the two sleeping areas private from each other like that so I think I've told you everything I can um, remember what you get in you get in uh, you get all the accessories so there's nothing more to buy so just to recap you get in the gas bottle which is full with the regulator you get in a corner leg for winding the corner steadies down the 240 volt hookup lead um, the fresh water container with rolling handle and whale water pump the wastewater hog at the back with the wastewater pipes and the caravan step so everything's there there's nothing more you need to buy you just hook up and go it's dry in this caravan and the floor solid I haven't showed you the floor actually carpeted floor all good So I think that's about it, I can't think of anything more to say or, or apart from I can deliver this caravan if you like and I'll deliver it uh, £1 a mile postcode to postcode one way um, anywhere in the UK So I'll stop parroting on now and thank you for looking at this video Bye for now